stripes and right crosses. I turn zeros into losses. I'm going after pound for pound bosses. I don't hesitate, no defense is safe. Clans get abandoned once I punch you in the face. Body shot counters when my hands are at my waist. I'm the man in this place. I shine just like my state. Critics, they love to hate. The Swag Science is back in the building. The Swag Science mixtape back in the building. Y'all go ahead and check that out when y'all done listening to the little video right here. But let's get into it right now. Boxing. We got the Pacquiao and Bradley fight. The trilogy, the third match, the, the rubber match in this equation here. And I'm going to just be honest. I really didn't feel like making a prediction video for this fight. And I know a lot of people just really ain't looking forward to this fight. Out of all the rubber matches that we've had in the history of boxing that featured elite fighters or at least two, you know, higher level type of boxers, this is the first one I could recall in recent memory that no one really, eh, no one really cares, no one's really anticipating, no one's really looking forward to it. I mean, Bradley, he looked good in his last fight. He got Atlas in his corner. We all hooped and hollered about the fucking um, fireman speech. It was good boxing ring drama. We liked that, but most dudes knew Rios was a spent bullet and that he wasn't going to offer much against Bradley. Now, you did have a few people picking uh, Rios as an upset. You know, thinking that they're going to clip Bradley. I'm sorry, that Rios is going to clip Bradley on the inside and exchange, whatever, yada, yada, yada. I know the Alvarado fight kind of gassed up people's decision making. But if you look closely, it was really fool's gold because the Rios fight that really told the story about how he's going to look is that fight with Chavez. Diego Chavez so I wasn't fooled by that shit I thought he looked bad in that fight and he was losing to the ref bailed him out whatever and Pacquiao when we look at his situation he's coming from the Mayweather fight of the millennium the, the shit that niggas was charged a hundred dollars to see and these niggas gave us five dollars worth of a fucking fight so everybody got that bad taste in their mouth you know, Pacquiao, he just went on his damn uh, B game. And Floyd, he was on his B game. And we got a damn underwhelming ass C level type of fight. So, nobody's really coming in here with some outstanding momentum. I actually wanted a. a, a ooh, I preferred seeing Pacquiao fight Crawford. But I understand that Crawford's the bigger risk. And no one wants to walk away with a fucking a loss, you know, at the end of their career. So I could understand why Pacquiao didn't go that route. But I felt like the Khan was the uh, American was a, a entertaining fight that could have been made. I felt like a Broner Pacquiao fight could have been dope. Same shit, fucking uh, Jesse Vargas as well. Fuck it. You know, I think all those were just different types of fights that I think the fans would have naturally gravitated towards. But with Pacquiao, Bradley, we've been there, done that. We've seen that already. We got 24 rounds from these dudes. And honestly, the, the rounds we've gotten, we haven't gotten a lot of great thrilling rounds from neither of these dudes in, in their fights. Out of 24 rounds... They probably gave us maybe five or six good, solid rounds that were entertaining or had any type of drama involved. So that's why a lot of people ain't really feeling this fight. Now the undercard looks real solid, shit. I think the undercard is going to really save this, but, you know, Pacquiao, Bradley, I think they're going to give us a decent fight. Who knows? Overall, the card I think going to be all right. I don't think it's going to get crazy sales, you know, it might get 350 pay-per-view buys, maybe 400, but I don't see it being more than that. As far as what Bradley needs to do, he needs to be able to damn stick to a game plan and, you know, just keep his ankles, his knees, his legs healthy, because 
from previous fights with Pacquiao. Anytime he gets clipped or hurt or rocked with some shit, somehow it's like it's almost on some fucking fist of the North Star anime shit. Like you know, I'll just hit you with this reference. It's a dude who he punch people and he make the organs jump out or break bones, some shit like that. That's the type of effect Pacquiao be having on Bradley. He just makes his legs go all crazy and the dude has to run around and he's on his ankles and you know he tried to slug it out with Pacquiao he couldn't hang so you know he pulls a muscle whatever and then his game plan goes to shit so basically I hope Bradley just honestly worked his fucking lower body for this fight because that's his only chance really I think he could probably outwork Pacquiao but he just can't be afraid of the, the return fire. That's what it comes down to. Pacquiao was always going to throw some return fire. No matter if he's on his A game or his B game. It just shows you that you can't just beat Pacquiao on some defensive shit. Moving, you know, moving on some lateral movement type of shit. Kind of like how Bradley did in the first fight. Where he tried to take away Pacquiao's left. Yeah, he did. At certain points, but he still got outworked, and his offense ain't really coming to late in the fight. Second fight, you know, he thought he was Joe Frazier, and he tried to go toe to toe, and you know, we see how that worked out. So Bradley just gotta focus on the game plan, and don't get hurt, don't get fucked up. You know what I mean? He could win a decision. A lot of people I know are probably picking Bradley because Pacquiao, he's on his way out, and Pacquiao, he falls into this. Uh, let me just do it just enough and and I don't know if the judges are going to really like that this time he already did that in the first fight he did just enough and I felt like he won that shit clearly but apparently the judges didn't second time they got it right but of course Pacquiao gave a much better effort the second time third time who, who knows what's going to fucking happen but I just think Pacquiao just naturally all wrong for Bradley. It's more, it's almost a real, a really a 50-50 fight when you look at it. And I know people looking at Bradley as the fresher guy, younger guy, but he's just, he hasn't shown me enough to make me think like, you know what? I'm going to pick him over Pacquiao. Even though Pacquiao has his moments where you could tell he's like, eh, just going through the motions, let me give you my B game. He's still showing that he's a better fighter than Bradley. I'm going to just rock with that. I might be wrong. Hey, it's whatever, you know, we all be wrong at one point. But I think Pacquiao is going to win competitive decision. This might be the closest fight they've, they're going to have. It might be the most entertaining so hopefully it is you know especially if you one of these dudes that's gonna actually buy this shit but i see pacquiao winning the decision pretty much doing the same shit he's been doing against this dude just naturally being better getting off first doing the combos and then we'll, we'll see what happens man we'll just, we'll just see what happens but uh if Pacquiao was to lose or Bradley really ups his game and wins, I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm just going to go with Manny in this. And hopefully he puts on a good performance. And if this is his last final fight, which I don't mind, I hope he just goes out on a good note. So with that said, Pacquiao, by decision, maybe eight rounds or four. Maybe seven rounds to five. Who knows? But uh, Pacquiao by the city. Swag Science. Y'all make sure y'all check out that Swag Science boxing EP. And this is a Swag Science, and I'm out. One.